Um, if you do not want to hear me blabbering on about how this creation came to be and my own random rambles about art in general and etc um then feel free to mute this video and so anyways as you can tell by the title i had the opportunity during winter break to help paint a mural in a classroom at my workplace so for those who do not know, I work at an English center here in South Korea. It's a place basically where kids come to learn more English. So um, each room has a theme and the painting that uh, we did was in the nature room. So this actually isn't the room that I am currently teaching in. I teach in the science room and my lesson is about science and stuff. So as you can see right now, I am painting the face of a male lion um, who I have since named Frederick, King Frederick. A little backstory about how this came to be so yeah like i said the nature room uh teacher really wanted to paint this mural and so he came up with a sketch of different animals I'm still kind of hazy on when this started it's been over a month process honestly but during winter break um we started the actual project and yeah so i don't have everything recorded as you can see there is a background of which we painted a few weeks prior to actually starting on the animals so the background is basically the, just this landscape of greenery and then some mountains and then there's a blue sky um, so I was in charge of the lions and the giraffe. So the lion, I started off with the male lion. That was the most daunting task that I assumed I would have with all of the animals. I thought it would be the most difficult to do, but the male lion it turned up being the least stressful. Um, so I started off with the face and as you saw earlier, I did like a coat of brown and then i kind of just stippled in some like fur like patterned and patches of a lot of tan browns a little bit of white and yellow and right now i'm doing the mane okay, and i know like a lot of male lions like their manes are often very different and i was gonna go for more of like a simba reddish orange color but then i thought nah let's go with a more natural one <laughs> realistic one i don't know so i just basically used this reference photo and did a dark undercoat of the mane which was black and with hints or highlights of brown and then um a top layer of like golden also uh, another fun fact about this whole project the only colors of paints that we did order were red blue and yellow and then we had a black black and white and so all of these colors you were seeing were made using the primary colors and that just goes to show you you don't need fancy colors to paint after taking painting class in high school i realized you know you just need the primary colors and you can create whatever you want although sometimes it won't turn out as you expect and sometimes it's very difficult to get a simple color like for example brown brown was like the most difficult color for us to concoct using the colors that we had um i will say though that, that the paints that we had weren't the best um quality so yes this is frederick frederick is great he was the first animal that was done on um this project so like i said i was in charge of the lions which there will be three lions um frederick and then his two cubs uh frederick jr and frederica <laughs> originally frederica wasn't going to be a thing he, my very ambitious self decided to you know what let's just throw in another cub okay and then we move on to frederick jr this um little cub i had a lot of pressure on doing because all of my co-workers especially my korean co-teachers were very excited to see the cubs come to life because you know cubs are cute they like cute things so yes had a lot of um weight on my shoulders doing frederick 
Jr. Uh, but he turned out better than expected, actually. In the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing um, because obviously the cub's fur is very different from Frederick. Frederick mainly is just blotches of tan um, and his fur isn't as, like, the texture isn't as dominant, I guess you could say. It's more of a blend, whereas like cubs usually have more of a fluffy look to them. And so I tried to recreate that fluffiness in the painting. And so how I did that was I basically did another coat, like undercoat of brown, um, and then just did layers upon layers of dry brush stroke, dry brush, dry brushing. So yes. <laughs> I know my um, descriptions are great. I think the thing I'm most proud about with this whole painting is Frederick, Frederick's face, the um, big lion, the adult lion. I really like his face. I think that is my favorite part, but I also really like how I did the lions, all of the lions eyes. I think they turned out a lot better than I expected um, and I had fun doing them. Fur can be very difficult to do. I actually have struggled doing this multiple times. Um, okay, and now we're moving on to Frederica. And so for this, Frederica is a little bit older than Frederick Jr. Um, <laughs> that was not intentional, but she just kind of looks older because that's how she came out um, in my painting. And yeah, so whatever oh also with frederica i also lost like half of the footage um of me completing her so you only get to see the very beginning of me working on her but i basically did the same uh, as i did with frederick and now we're painting the giraffe so the giraffe was all done in february i believe and i think i named her margaret i also did not film me doing her body because i honestly didn't expect it to turn out well uh there's not really much to talk about specifically specifically on how i painted her i started off with a lighter tan coat um or tan base and then i tried to give a bit of shadow and shade on that and then i painted on the um what are they called spots <laughs> painted on these spots and then i also tried to kind of shade them as well to match the shading of the lighter tan skin part and i hope that kind of gives you a good explanation sorry i, I don't really again i don't really know what i was doing this was all very experimental i've actually never painted a giraffe before so this was new for me i have painted a lion but a giraffe was a new thing for me so here I am just doing her uh, ears and antlers. Are they antlers? I'm not entirely sure. Are they horns? I don't know. I don't really know the correct terminology for giraffes. But anyways, this was actually really funny um, painting these two things. So I painted all of these body parts this, on the same day. Um, and I didn't start on the face until the next day. And it was actually really funny because you could stand on the chair that I was currently on um, and if you positioned yourself uh, well, it would look like your face was the giraffe's face and you had a long neck. Oh, hello. There's me. And you had a long neck and big ears and giraffe horns, antlers, whatever. Okay, and the last thing that we added, or that I added into this picture uh, so far was a pride rock. So this was originally just like a random idea that was a joke, but then turned real. So here we have pride rock, um, and we decided instead of putting like normal characters on there, like Rafiki and Simba and etc., we decided to put Simba and Baby Yoda. And if you don't get the reference, watch The Mandalorian. There's also an elephant and a chimpanzee in this painting, and those are both done by my coworker, uh, aka the nature teacher. So this was all his kind of 
idea that was brought to life so props to him um but yeah he was in charge of the chimpanzee and the elephant if you've lasted this long congratulations thank you for watching i hope this was interesting or enjoyable again any questions down below let me know and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching goodbye